What's up everybody? TG here, South Carolina Accountability. Alright, so yesterday, me and News Now South Carolina journeyed all the way to Richmond County, Georgia, which is Augusta for those of you that don't know. And we encountered one, one deputy who gave us problems. And I might say, we had to dispatch the Ghostbuster. And in this case, the Ghostbuster was none other than Dave, News Now South Carolina. I want you guys to pay close attention as he captured the ghost several times on camera. Let's go. The magistrate on here operates under personal request. I'm not lost. I'm telling you this is a garbage for is there a statute to back that up? Is the cat got your tongue? Is there a penal code that backs that up? No. Is yeah. there a signed document by the judge or your sheriff that legalizes that, that statement that, that you it's made? It's no, there isn't. There's a sign that says employee parking, correct? Right. Does it say that, uh, does it say authorized personnel? You look like you're seeing a ghost. That answers my question. Get in your car, save yourself. No, that's yeah, not it, how it, it works, is. It, well, it's gonna work that way. I don't know what best facilitates your happiness. I'm, actually, I know what you're doing, and I know. So you know what I'm doing, I and do. you still got out your car to ask for my license. Do you see how, how you just made yourself look dumb? You know what I'm doing, Travis. Answer that question. He knows what I'm doing, but he got out his car to ask me for my license. But, but no, he knows I know what, what you're doing. doing with the video. And how I'm gonna do what was supposed to be done, and that's be quiet. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but my I'm, question I'm, is, sure. since I. I I haven't been told to do anything. Okay. Am I feel still free to go since you told me to leave? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the sidewalk. Yeah, you can leave. I'm gonna. Am this I'm is what I'm gonna to? do. Huh? Am I, free to go? I haven't I'm heard him say you're detained. I'm, I'm David. Nice detained. to meet you, brother. I'm not You're not. Do you have any more questions for me? You've expressed your interest to leave. This is how. I know. I'm not interested in leaving. You're trying to make me leave. I'm not interested in leaving. I just want to finish getting these pictures of these vehicles to see this and then I'm leaving. That doesn't require your help, but you chose to get out your car. Okay, go about your business. So why you get out your car then? Go about your business. Now you're getting upset. See? No, I'm not getting upset. Now it's your ego and that thing business. blue line. Now you're getting upset. No, I'm, I'm saying right here. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. You're on the clock. Wasting our tax dollars. I'm staying all day. You got a problem. And I'm sure the mayor or your sheriff's going to I don't work for the mayor. I don't work for the mayor. Oh, you don't? I do not. You don't? I do not. Okay. 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 But the sheriff wouldn't mind you just seeing it waste of tax dollars. Oh, unless you're going to say you don't give a shit about what the sheriff does. That's all you know. I see what you were doing. You were placing our vehicles under surveillance. And you, and you told me that I had to leave. I'm did you or did you not tell me that? You told me I had to leave. I'm asking. You told me I had to leave. Okay. And now you're going to backtrack because now you say you know what I'm doing. So now you know the platform. You're on. I didn't know it. And you, could, and you had the opportunity to do the I right thing. So why did you choose to do the wrong thing if you know what I'm doing? I refuse your uh, answer. Uh, can I ask a question? No. Uh, that's, that's oh, I can't ask a question. You, you were disinterested. You can't ask a question. How can I? So, if I happen to see one of your vehicles at Walmart and I walk up to it and I'm looking at it because I've never seen one with such dark tint on it before, yes, and uh, the officer walks out, what, what he can say? Would he say I'm surveying his car because it's not in this parking lot, or would he simply say, Oh, well? You're looking at the tent, which is what we were absolutely doing. But you just chose right. to say that we were surveilling the vehicle, we which means that we have some ill intent. No. Hang on, hang on. He's asking a question. I want to devote my Please taxpayer interest to him. Oh, yeah. um, I'm, I'm you are surveilling the vehicles. There's no question about it. To answer your question, if you saw it in public and you wanted to look at it, that would be fine. Are we in public now? Huh? Are we in public now? On air. If you get home, you can hear. Are we in public now? You like you don't see a couple of ghosts this conversation, brother. It, don't stop. First of all, I'm not your brother. You are my Having brother. Familiar relationship you are my brother. You and are second my brother. Of all, You're my family. I love of you. All, You're my brother. I appreciate I love you. that. Thank you. Second of all. How you doing, ask, partner? You're asking hey, uh, me. You're blocking this man away. Can you get out of the way? You're blocking this man away right here. You're impeding you traffic, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Are you familiar with the Georgia traffic code? Uh, no, obviously you're not, because you're parked right here. Okay, what, what are the five traffic charges that you can make on private property? Is it pleading? Oh, is it private? Of... It, it, it's just private? Yeah, Please city. put your foot. This is private. It's city property. It's yeah. city property. It's, it's county property. It's county yes. property. So you're telling me county property is Last I checked, that private. classifies it as public. Hey, brother, how you doing? Uh, it's city and county property. Oh, property private. It's tax funded, right? 
Pardon me? It's city and, and county property tax funded. Which it, deems it public until you have a sign saying that personnel um, access on it. You've made yourself like a complete ass. Go over there, please. Okay. You, got, you can't complain about my language because I write my first amendment. Please get out of my face. First of all, get out my face. I'm not leaving. Get out of my face. How are you, Captain? Nice to meet you. TJ. I'll explain to you what's going on. We're, we're just out here. Um, we go from county to county in different states and stuff, and we look at the tent regulations on the police vehicles. And we notice that in this park a lot, there are probably about five or six different tent levels. Um, and we were just, that's what we were looking at when he came up and said we were surveilling the vehicles. We, we don't have any ill intent or anything. We're just simply looking at how each car almost has a different level of tent on it. That's all. And we tried to explain this to him, but uh, he wanted to get his ID and stuff, so they're in a debacle now. Okay. I, I just want you to know that. So you're going to stay where you are, or there's going to be a lot of car news on there, okay? Please don't touch me. Right. Just stay right there. Okay. How you doing, brother? I'm David. Nice to meet you. Uh, are you officer here? Yes, sir. This gentleman here is confused about county and city property. He said it's property. Right? First of all, you said it. I'm done talking to you. Shut up, please. This officer here told me that city and county property is property. We all out here know. I appreciate you. Yeah. You're, you're done. You can get to Thank you. Hey, listen. Thank you for thank you for moving him so he don't look as bad as you look, right? Because the whole city's going to see this. And it's going to the sheriff. It's, 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 it's going to be great here. Okay. And you're a major stripper, all right? Yes, sir. Is your family on, on the internet? Because everybody's going to see this. So when you go home, please brief them that you're now on the internet and they should watch it if they don't want to see dad or husband feel like a Because that's what you want. See these gentlemen here? They're, they're professional. You told Captain, where would I be able to file a uh, complaint at? And that was interesting because obviously you told us good to go. Regarding you here watching. You see that? Uh, um, like an officer's you know, like so a complaint with the know, officer. Why couldn't oh, he complaint stay on officer. Yes, yes sir. In that building right there. Okay. The the public access is on on the other side. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Again, thank you. Yes, sir. You're so upset, but you know you have no legal regard to this right here. You can't do nothing about it. I'm not. If I didn't have my camera, I'd probably have a bullet in me right now, would it? You hate it. I'm not upset. And you I don't are emotion, upset. I don't invest you're any upset. emotional uh, strength you do. in what you're doing. You're right upset. Here. Uh, no. It's fine. Your ego has allowed you to stand here longer than you wanted to because you could have been left. Your ego has allowed you to stand here longer than you wanted to. And we all can agree to it. Now, whether or not they're going to correct you in public, that's on them. That's between y'all and internal affairs. But your ego has got the best of you. Would you like to speak with internal uh, affairs? Uh, oh, it's fine because more than just me is going to speak with internal affairs about me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, and that officer that you told me to leave. Yeah. Stay right there. I wouldn't have left the way you told me to leave either. Hey, look. The guy's going yeah. to leave again. Yeah. After he told him he's free to do whatever he wants to do. So basically, y'all were walking through the parking lot. I was walking through the parking lot. We're, we're there, looking there at the officers. tents on the different there vehicles. There were three officers that came here. Two young ladies and a gentleman that drives a red on Mark Carter. We nicely, as I'm dialoguing with you, right. spoke to him and said, Officer, listen, you might show me the inside of your car. Can you talk to me about the tents? He was telling me, officers can have whatever tent they want to have in their car. And I said, so what's the street code? He said, 10%. What, like 5 or 10%? I said, you know what? Thanks for the information. That's what we were looking at. We went back after we spoke to him, talking to those sweet ladies back here. That's why we were walking back up this way when we encountered him. Nobody said anything to us about being out here except him. Okay. We've spoken with three officers personally. I'm talking about like within as close proximity as you are to me. That's how we spoke. One of which even allowed us to look inside the vehicles and activated the I lights mean, for us. So that's our confusion because if that's protocol here, how come he's the only one that said anything? That's what I'm asking. If if this is protocol, which I hope it isn't, nobody else said anything. So either he's right and they're wrong yeah. and needs to be wrote up, or they're right and he's there, wrong. There's no real right and wrong in it. I mean, if you approach the officer and start talking to him. I'm he got out of his car. Okay. No, I'm talking about other officers. Oh, no. They were just in, in the parking lot as we were making our way there. And nobody said anything to us, which is why I'm confused. Because, again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong because I have an old hat here and one mouth. If I'm wrong, tell me. All right. Well, but this officer decided to get out of his car and let his ego overtake his oath. And now, and now look at I'm here, Chris, again. Um, I just got out here for a little You practice in circular arguments. You say things to him that aren't factually correct. Every time you just hush. How about? Every time you've asked me a question, then you've come apart and you talk about my ego and you talk about threatening me and all that good stuff, um, which doesn't work with me because I know what you're doing. If you um, know what I'm doing, why you still here? Because you can't answer my, that question. This is my parking lot. This, this is your parking, parking lot. lot. But, but you had every intention of leaving the parking lot until you saw me. So if you know what I'm doing, why'd you stop? See that? So I'm not talking in circles. You're talking in circles. I'm just repeating what you're telling me. And you're mad because I make you like an idiot out here. You said this I'm is your parking mad. lot. I'm you are mad. mad. This is your parking lot. You're mad. Your ego has allowed you to stand here 
11 minutes longer than you wanted to. You had no intentions of coming out that building talking to me. You, you, came, no out, you came out your car, out that building, got in your car, and was leaving. See that, please leave? Well, but do you get my well, time? wasting so? both of our time. No, you're wasting tax dollars. Mr. Johnson, I got time to waste. Mr. Johnson. Please. Yes, please. Will. You can't tell that man to leave. He's, my He's free. He has <laughs> every right to be in the right, good sir. Thank you for being out here, brother. I appreciate your. I, one last question. Yes, well, sir. what division are you the major over? That's what I want to know. Criminal investigation. Criminal investigation. Yes, sir. Good. Perfect. So, are you familiar with public photography? You are. So, if you're familiar with it, and you know that's what I was doing. You have answered this question. Why did you get out your car? To find out what you were doing. But you said you knew what I was doing. God, do you see what I'm saying? He said he got out of his car to find out what I was doing, but he just told me he knew what I was doing. So which one is it? I can't figure it out. See that? It's cops like you that give us a hard time when we're trying to bridge the gap. We're trying to bridge this gap between us and y'all. I haven't said anything unpleasant to you. You, haven't, you told me I had to leave. He told me I had to leave. You do need to leave our parking lot. Why? And until you choose to do so, you're placing the police under surveillance. It's okay. I may well, just your vehicle now. I'm gonna get your tag number, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. Here's what I'm gonna do here. So, again, you're telling me I have to leave, but no, then sir. you're saying I'm free to stay. No. But now you're telling me I have to leave your parking lot. See, I don't, gonna... I don't get it. Hey, partner, how you doing? Uh, how much, brother? Dealing with uh, high school girl talking right now. I guess Georgia didn't learn their lesson with Smith versus the city of Cummings. nothing to do with that I'm in public I'm in public I had to leave I have to leave I'm free to stay I'm not detained I'm free to go I can do what I want I can do what I want now I have to leave which one is it? your ego is controlling you so much you hate it so you're gonna stay here until we leave yeah he is I'm gonna stay here until I can leave but he, oh, okay, so but he's wasting tax dollars. Okay. Until both those things run out, or you could leave now, or you could leave in four hours, or whatever. It's entirely up to you. Oh, so now, I, I was just now. Earlier you told me I had to leave. <laughs> so now the ball's in your court. Yeah, ball's in my court. Oh, okay. Earlier it was in his. Now the ball's in my court. It is. And that, and that, I'm still here. I know what you're doing with the vehicles, and now. So you go about doing with whatever it is you need to do with the vehicles, and I'll be here. I see you looking at my tattoos. You like my tattoos? That's why you're looking at them. I said, do you like them? I said, yes, I like them. I'm like, oh, it's not a problem. I mean, I have an opinion like that. I just saw you looking at them. I just thought I asked you. Captain, can I ask you one more question? Is this parking lot limited to uh, only uh, public or I mean to only uh, department uh, personnel um, or is it only limited to department vehicles? Because I noticed on the, the arms over there it says uh, personnel parking only. Right. Now, I, I don't know what uh, began uh, with this here. Um, I'm going to have to make an assumption that he saw y'all filming like you're doing. Yes, sir. Well, we weren't even filming at the time. We were we were just looking at the tent. Um, he asked what we were doing, and you know, we told him. But so, so it, you have to understand that does raise a certain level of suspicion when people that don't work in a police building are walking through a bunch of police cars. Yes, sir. And I totally understand, and I don't have a problem with the question. Right. Um, him asking what we're doing. My but, problem was when he said that. He demanded that we leave. 
and he said that this is for personnel only. Um, so that, that's what my question was. Okay, right. Thank you. I just want to get pictures. Just hold my phone. I'm going to come stand beside you. I'm not going to touch you. I'm not going to violate your personal space. You are, you're violating my personal space. You can right there. Okay. I, I'm with the only preacher of you, okay? That's it. Look at this. If you keep moving towards me and I keep moving. Because right. I have a right to move in public. Yeah, you do. I just want to take your picture. Okay. I'm not threatening you. We've been on video for probably 15 minutes. I'm going to go for another 15. Okay. Everybody look here. I'm news now. This is this is Major Strickland. He told me I wasn't allowed to be in the parking lot, but now he's having a conversation with me. We, it's restricted. Oh, it's restricted. But the sign says authorized. I meant employee parking. Oh, never mind. I just got clarity on that by the captain. That, okay, thank that you. This is for personnel vehicles only, not people. Thank you. How you uh, doing, ma'am? So these abide by the vehicle codes of there, Georgia. There's a motor oh, or oh. drive shaft. Your feet don't fall under the motor vehicle. Oh, I got a gas pedal on the brake. No, it's not. What well, nonsense is you getting out the car to ask me what I'm doing? As you said, you know what I'm doing. After you proceeded to try to violate my Fourth Amendment right by asking for my ID, that's what don't make sense to me. Without reasonable suspicion, I might add. Other than surveilling his vehicle, right? Which is owned by the people in a public parking lot. But he said it's private. He, said, he said county property is private. Well, how many times have we learned? But is this restricted, is the question. Is this parking lot restricted? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? It's not restricted. This, 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 this area is for. Oh, please listen. I'm sorry. Okay. Video. If so that, you want, if you want to. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you one. Which is what made me ask other officers: Is this private or public? Okay. Now he's backtracking. Listen, listen. Are you gonna listen? Yeah, go ahead, please. Listen, this is gonna be the last time that we have this conversation. Interrupt me or try to put something confusing on something. Okay. Okay. This area is right here. This area right here is a public area. It's owned and financed by the public, right? It's assigned to the sheriff's office, and this area right hey, brother, here how you doing? is designated for the parking for official vehicles. So in and of itself, the fact that you're snooping around and looking at the vehicles raised my suspicion. So I stopped to find out what you were doing. I asked you for your ID. You chose not to, to give it to me. That was the end of the conversation. So there's no Fourth Amendment in that. So I didn't try to seize you or any of your property. Now, now Hush, I, oh, I'm answer. not going to hush. I'm, okay, I'm going to let I'm, you continue to hang yourself. Okay. Go ahead. Because then I'm going I'm to play back everything that you said after that. Go ahead. I just heard snooping. Snooping. After, brother, snooping. Snooping is law enforcement. Snooping. Yeah, he is. Are you law enforcement? Snooping. Can I ask you a question? I won't get no. you on film, but can I ask you a question? No. You See, he, he's so embarrassed, he don't want to bring anybody else into this because he's so embarrassed. He's so scared of what his wife's going to say when he get home about how <laughs> dumb he look right now. He, he don't want you in this. But can I ask you a question? I promise I won't get you on film. I will not. He doesn't care if you're on film or not. But I'm going to respect him and not put him on film. You put yourself in this situation. You put yourself in this situation. He's my boss. He was talking to you. Listen, listen. He doesn't. I have a question for you. Can I speak to you? Is this parking lot right here private property? Is it private property? That's the issue. That's all I want to know. And the only reason I'm You have a nice day, Captain. Someone understands law. Hey, Dave, Dave, please let him go so he doesn't get in trouble. He's upset. We, we don't want it to, to, to fall back on him. But I thank you for me. Thank you, man. I appreciate your story that is, but it but y'all work for the same county. That's scary. That is scary. Nobody in the county is on the same page. That's scary, right? Nobody on the county is in the same page. And they give you guys guns to go out and rule the land and they, and then we run into idiots like you. To the Strickland family, I'm terribly sorry. This is your job. 
Richmond County, I'm very sorry that this is who y'all entrust with your public safety. This guy here. People that openly violate your rights. Are you done with the circle of conversation now? Hey guys, this is Mr. Trickle here. I'm about to get out of here, okay? Because he's made this whole department like a plum food. Oh yeah, he's, he, he's not good. He's confused. He needs medical attention. That's all it is. You need medical attention. You're confused. You made incoherent statements the entire time. The whole time. The whole 22 minutes I've been out here, you've done up a lot. How do you feel about that? He feels excited. Clearly, it's something he does every day. I'm all right. We're peachy. Trying to deal with this high schooler here. Okay. Hey, officer, how you doing? I'm all right, brother. Thank you. I bet these guys here are way more professional. Let's go speak to them. Right. He's going to tell them to leave again. Are you going to tell them to leave as well? Can, can we speak to them? Oh, no, he says he's going to tell them to leave too. How you doing? Right. Can I shake your hand, brother? If you don't mind. Can I shake your hand, brother? I'm David. Nice to meet you. Oh God, I hope not. Is he a supervisor? Because if so, you really need to go home and do some praying. Please. Check YouTube later, okay? Because he's gonna be on there making a fool of his whole department. Check YouTube later. Let's get out of here. Hey, listen, call the probation office and tell them we're coming, okay? I hope they pass. Right now. Because you failed. Call the probation office and tell them we're coming, okay? Two black guys, a red hat.